Lata Glory Ministries International. The people that look down on you, they will look up to you. You will arise materially. You will arise economically. The devil is a liar. Touching lives, saving souls, and reaching nations in our vision. You will go where you have never gone before. You will arise and shine. Hey! Welcome to Power in the World with Reverend Lucy Natasha, a voice of destiny. The theme of this meeting is Woman Arise and Shine. I was asking the Lord on what to speak to the women because there are a lot of women in scriptures that have, have actually inspired my work with the Lord also being a woman in ministry. Because when I look at the life of Deborah, I'm inspired by Deborah. I love the way she served God with power and spoke the word of God without fear. When I look at Esther, I am inspired by Esther in the Bible. The way she interacted seated for her people before the throne of grace and i pray that in my generation god will raise esther's women that will intercede for their people and their families before the throne of grace when i look at the shunammite woman i love the way she trusted god in the times of adversity and she inspires me when i look at hannah i love the way she dedicated her children to god and i encourage every woman that is seated here dedicate your children to god somebody shout hallelujah when I look at Mary the mother of Jesus I am inspired by this woman how she just released herself to the will of God and she said let it be unto me according to your word when I look into the scriptures I admire three women in particular from Luke chapter 8 verse 1 and verse 3 I admire Suzanne I admire Joanna I admire Mary Magdalene these three women used their wealth to support the ministry of Jesus. When I read the Bible, I admire Lydia. The way she explained the ways of the Lord to those that were seeking. I admire the Proverbs 31 woman. She was a virtuous woman. And there are countless of women that were running through my mind as I got this invitation. And I asked the Lord, which woman should I speak to? To the women and to the daughters of Papas. And the Lord led me to this woman that touch the hem of his garment. Today you are about to touch Jesus. If you believe it, shall fire. Hallelujah. You know when you look at this woman, this is one of the most represented women in scripture. Because when you look at this woman, she looks hopeless and helpless. Just like many women today. When people look at you, they see your problems. But when God looks at you, he sees your potential. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. When people look at you, they see a woman with problems. But when God looks at you, he sees a woman with potential. Hey, tell your neighbor, neighbor. When people look at you, they see a woman with a past. But when God looks at you, he sees a woman with a purpose. That is why you are daughters of purpose. Yeah, tell your neighbor, you may have my history. Tell your neighbor, keep it. I have my future. My destiny is greater than my history. Where I am going is better than where I am coming from. The devil is a liar. Shout hallelujah. So the center of my attention for the next few minutes is going to be on this woman. The woman with the issue of blood. This is a woman that had suffered for 12 years. 12 years is a long time. It is not a problem that started suddenly. 12 years is 144 months. 12 years is 624 weeks. Going through the same problem. That means it was a long standing problem. Before I go further, there are women that are seated here under the sound of my voice. And some of you are going through long standing problems. Probably your issue may not be the issue of this woman. This woman, her issue was the issue of blood. Some of you have financial issues, marital issues, career issues, financial issues, medical issues. But I have good news for somebody today. Every problem has an expiry date. 
Hey, give that sister next to you a high five. Tell her every problem has an expiry date. The devil is a liar. It doesn't matter how long your issue has lasted. Your condition is not your conclusion. Come on, help me preach to somebody. Tell them my condition is not my conclusion. You know, this woman with the issue of blood, she had been in her problem for too long until people had put a full stop in her life. You know, sometimes in life, you can go through a problem for a long time until people put a full stop. But the good news is where people put a full stop, that is where God begins a new sentence. Hey, my God, this woman, according to those days, if you had an issue of blood, you were termed as unclean. This woman for 12 years, she was an outcast. She was a reject. She was a social outcast. Nobody wanted to relate with her. Nobody wanted to associate with her. Everybody rejected her. She had no friends. She was not allowed to go into the temple because she was unclean according to those days and the customs of those days. So for 12 years, this woman had no access to the temple. For 12 years, this woman had no relationship. She had no friends. And the Bible continued continues to say she spent all that she had so that means she was financially drained she spent every coin going to the Aga Khan hospitals of those days going to Kenyatta going to Nairobi hospital trying the herbal medication but nothing was working some of you are seated here today you have tried everything that you know but nothing is working and nothing is moving but I stand on this altar to announce there is a way out give your neighbor a high five tell them there is a way out the devil is a liar tell your neighbor the devil is a liar watch this she was financially drained then this woman when she spent all that she had the bible says she grew worse instead of her situation getting better the bible says she grew worse some of you right now as I'm speaking to you, your problem has moved from bad to worse. But I want to tell you, it's not over until God says it is over. It's not over until you arise. Somebody say, I will arise. Yeah. Then the Bible says, one day she had. Tell your neighbor she had. You know your ability to hear determines how you receive Romans 10 17 says faith comes by the hearing and by the hearing of the word of God so as this woman had faith was built in her spirit the reason why God brought you to daughters of purpose today is so that you can hear hey, hey my goodness she had I don't know what she had about Jesus maybe she had about the miracles of Jesus maybe she heard how Jesus walked on water maybe she heard how Jesus raised the dead maybe she heard how Jesus multiplied food I don't know what she heard but she had something about Jesus lift your hands and say Jesus hallelujah the Bible says when she heard she spoke to herself she said to herself if only I may touch his clothes I shall be made well after she heard she began to make faith confession every daughter of purpose here I'm here to tell you don't just talk after this meeting tell that daughter next to you don't just talk hey tell them talk with revelation you know what you confess is what you possess are you listening to me your words are the creators of your world the world you walk in is shaped by your words. If you speak success, you will be successful. If you speak failure, you will fail. You know, your words, they shape your destiny. Your words shape your life. Your words shape your children. Your words shape your family. Don't just talk. And even mountains don't move until you speak to them. The Bible says you shall say to this mountain. Tell your neighbor, don't just talk. Are you 
listening to me? What you confess you possess. Proverbs 18.21 says, The power of life and death is in the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Are you listening to me? So even when you are broke, don't say I'm broke. Say I am temporarily inconvenienced. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. I am temporarily inconvenienced. Hallelujah. Even when people come to borrow you money and you don't have. Hey, don't say between me and poverty. I have 1,000. Say between me and my next miracle. Tell your neighbor between me and my next miracle. But Luke 137 says, For with God, all things, not some things. Tell your neighbor not some things. But all things are possible. I came to prophesy to a daughter of purpose. What people said was impossible in your life. I declare in the name of Jesus. This year the Lord will make it possible. It will be possible for you to arise and shine. You will build your own house. You will drive your car. You will be promoted. Your business will blossom. Your business will grow. You will go to nations. In the name of Jesus. You will get married this year. You will be a mother to your own children. In the name of Jesus. You will arise and shine. It doesn't matter how long you've been down. The Bible says, Though a righteous man may fall down seven times, he will rise again. The Bible says, Rejoice not over me, my enemy. For though I fall, I will rise. Though I sit in darkness, the Lord will be my light. I stand on this altar to prophesy over the lives of the daughters of purpose. You will make it in 2016. Yay! You will go where you have never gone before. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to the daughters of purpose. You will arise and shine. The devil is a liar. You are coming out of that affliction. And I hear the Lord say, as you come out daughters of purpose, affliction will not rise a second time. Give your neighbor a high five. Tell them affliction will not rise a second time. Mateso hayata induka mara ya pili. Affliction will not rise a second time. I stand on this altar to prophesy. You will arise and shine. Give three women a high five. Tell them arise and shine. You will arise financially. You will arise materially. You will arise economically. You will arise materially. The devil is a liar. Can I prophesy? I stand on this altar to prophesy. The people that look down on you, they will look up to you. Hey! The people that rejected you, they will accept you in the name of Jesus. I prophesy the miracle that will make people say, I will serve your God. It will happen to you this year. It will happen to you this year. Shout fire! Shout fire! Touch three women. Tell them it's time to shine. I see daughters of Papa shining. In the corporate world, you will shine. In business, you will shine. In ministry, we will shine. Yay! In marriages, we will shine. The devil is a liar. Our children will shine. Uh, academically, we will shine. Touch three women. Tell them, shine. Tell a woman, shine. Shine. And I stand on this altar to prophesy over the daughters of purpose. 2016, you will not suffer shame. You will not be put to shame. This year, you have a command from God. To arise and shine. Hey! Look at your neighbor. Tell them, neighbor, I prophesy you will not suffer shame. 2016, 
you have a command from God to arise and shine. I see your daughters of papas here. You are about to lose the address of poverty. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, I am losing the address of poverty. I came to tell a daughter of purpose, you are not born again to suffer again. Tell your neighbor, I'm not born again to suffer again. Redemption is not reduction. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, redemption is not reduction. Can I prophesy to a woman here? 2016, you will prosper. I see women rising financially. Hey, I said you will prosper. Every spirit of poverty, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. And I declare you will be like Suzanne, Joanna, and Mary Magdalene that used their wealth to support the ministry of Jesus. I see among us the daughters of papas, God will raise kingdom millionaires. Tell your neighbor, I am the next millionaire. Hey! Even if in your family there has never been a millionaire, you will be the first. Why? Because you are not, you, you will not repeat history. You will be a history maker. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, I am a history maker. I am a record breaker. I came to tell a daughter of purpose. I know your brothers and sisters came this far. I know your mother and father came this far. But you will break the record. You will make the history. The devil is a liar. Sharia! Reverend Lucy Natasha is an author of several books. Some of them being Seven Keys to Success, Every Problem Has an Expiry Day, God's Leading Lady, and Touching Heavens Through Prayer. For more information, you can visit our website www.lucynatasha.org.